to another episode of the Sip City Podcast. Y'all already know how it go. You got your boy sitting over here right here, Mr. Terrence right here. You got Mr. Old School, Mr. Mr. Black Power over there, Mr. TZ. What you say about the cousin? What up? What up? You know what I'm saying? We got the young the young one in here. Hey, man, say my name with some energy, man. You, got, say, you, you, you sound kind of dead over there. Say my name with some energy, man. Shit, I am about dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, you got Mr. Young Gun over here, man. Mr. Family over here, everything. Y'all already know how I go. Building, what's happening? What's happening? Once again. You know what I'm saying? Mr. D. White. Fellas, been a long week. Been a long weekend, man. You know what y'all boy get into over the weekend? Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Celebration. I ain't, I ain't hear no goddamn fireworks. Oh. So that's why, that's why I'm, you know, I ain't buying no more fireworks because they weren't selling them on Juneteenth. They were? I ain't seen no fireworks stand nowhere. So you, you boycotting fireworks for Juneteenth? Yes. You can't sell them on Juneteenth. You don't want them no other teeth. Mm. Well, what about the kids, big bro? So you gonna take that luxury of fireworks away from the kids? You know what, I'm saying? What, 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 other, what other holiday? You right. What you mean? What other holidays I wanna celebrate? And fire, and we talking about the kids though. The kids might wanna. Yeah, the kids might want to. Yeah, might want to. I ain't got no more kids. What about New Year's? Uh, we celebrate New Year's on different days. What day do we celebrate New Year's on? Juneteenth. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Yeah Juneteenth It was made into a big Big deal this year Especially by your president Your president came out And said he made it famous Now listen <laughs> I'm gonna be honest bro That nigga Donald Trump do let me let me just break it down for y'all just a little bit, just a little bit. I don't want to get too far in depth because you know what I'm saying. I'm with it. Mm -hmm. I just want everybody to be you know what I'm saying together. I'm, a, I'm I'm with the vote. You know what I'm saying. I'm a vote, but you gotta give me somebody to vote for. You see what I'm saying? I just can't go waste my vote. If I don't, you know what I'm saying. When it came down to Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, I really didn't want to vote for neither one of them motherfuckers. So I mean, Donald Trump, listen. Y'all can say what y'all want to say, but I see a lot of y'all around here balling. Donald Trump done put a lot of y'all motherfuckers on now. Donald Trump done put a lot of y'all people on. A lot of people done started businesses. A lot of people done did all this stuff off Donald Trump money now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What, off that little stimulus check? Oh, you did that, man? Oh, listen, I, I forgot y'all some high rollers. You see what I'm saying? Uh, no. But some household, you got... Three motherfuckers bringing in 1200 Shit. That was one time. Kipo, them fucking unemployment. 800 a week. Nigga, that was just making 300 a week. <laughs> Give me 800 a week. That's, that's, still, that's still, don't give the credit. Bro. Don't give the credit what credit is due. Because it's not Donald Trump. It's Donald Trump. And, no, it's not. No, it's Donald not. Donald Trump ain't gave you nothing. If, if it was up to Donald Trump, you wouldn't be. Shit. I'm gonna tell you, see, this, this is why I try to tell y'all. I, I ain't bring it up on the show, but you know, the documentary on Donald Trump. This man is the ultimate finesse, bro. Like, he finessed the government like 40 years of tax, of, what is it called? Abundant, abundant, whatever it's called. The, basically, he didn't pay no taxes on his brand new, humongous property, the Trump Tower, Tower for 40 years. Just imagine if you didn't have to pay taxes for 40 years. 40 years tax-free on every dollar you earn. So you give so you give him credit for No, 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 no. I'm just saying. Shit. No, no, it, it's, it's well, called. Then he'll turn around and, and degrade the average person. Shithole country, uh, you uh, thugs, you uh, all kind of foul names that he'll call you, but then you won't give him credit for giving you a $1,200 no, check. Okay, let me, let me, $1,200 and shove it up his damn. Let me 
break it down. You cash the check. And I don't want to spend too much time on business moves but his ignorance like you know he don't know shit about the black community he ain't never been to the black community he don't know shit like that shit just he, all that shit is just for publicity you feel what i'm saying the man the man know how to play the game and that's what we gonna have to do we gotta if we if we're gonna beat the enemy we gotta learn how to play the game bro we can't beat the enemy at that game if we ain't trying to learn how to play the motherfucker well the difference in, in playing the game with the enemy is like the enemy changes the game as you get closer to the finish line. So that's the power that they have to say, okay, yeah, you 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 guys are learning the game, but watch how I revamp this game. When you go from Mario to Mario Kart, you know what I'm saying? So instead of now running and jumping trying to get coins, you in a they they in a go kart running around picking up shit. You know what I'm saying? The only way to beat the system is to literally, is to literally change the system. You, I mean, and the only way to literally change the system to make it fair is to distribute the economics the way it's supposed to be. Man, I still think you got, you know, folks got to do right about that money, man. You can't just distribute economics. We still spending our money in places that ain't supposed to be spent. We still giving them the money. Everything we get, no, we no, going to no, give no, it to no, their no, ass. No, 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 no. What he's saying. I understand what he's saying. I understand what he's saying. I'm just, I'm just trying to change. I'm just trying to change our mindset. You feel me? I understand. We can't keep making excuses for ourselves. Like we got to change our mindset. We can't just ignore Personal that, accountability. You feel me? We can't ignore that. That's what we're doing now. We take everything we get and we give it back to their ass now. We got to stop that. You know what I'm saying? We got to yeah, change yeah, that. that's true. But, we got to uh, change that like, shit. Like you said, it's, 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 a, it's a part of personal accountability. And also, it's a part of holding these ones accountable that has that power. Because they the one distribute the money. You know what I'm saying? We pay taxes just like anybody else. But... You go to other neighborhoods and other communities, you know what I'm saying? They got all the amenities. They got the upgraded parks, the uh, school system that is funded properly. And uh, they don't have overrun classrooms and all of that. You know well, what I'm saying? I mean, that goes back to what he was saying when he was talking about voting. I mean, I, I myself, everybody know my personal standpoint on voting. But, I mean, as far as voting, that's where you voting in your local legislation, at, your school boards and all that type of stuff. Because if you're not having the right people on the bottom level to get you to upgraded parks, to get your school system the way it's supposed to be, just like uh, Jackson Public School System over here, hell, the, the the state was threatening to take it over because shit wasn't doing right. You know what I'm saying? But look who we got over there. We got our own. You know what I'm saying? We we as black people like to fuck over our own self before we'll fuck over another race. And, and that's something that we got to learn how to be more loving towards each other. I don't know if y'all remember on the last show I was talking about that we that we as a black community need self healing. We need to heal ourselves first before we can start trying to go out and maneuver amongst the others, and, and that's part of our problem because we. I mean, you look at somebody that owns a black owned business. Just say for instance, a black owned mechanic shop. He put your brakes on wrong one time. Fuck that nigga. I ain't gonna never go back to that nigga one. No, not now another time. Yeah, I could have died. What the fuck wrong? No, I, I ain't talking about for it like that. I'm just saying. Shit. I just use that as an example. But think about it. Now what you doing? You running back, you telling everybody that you know the nigga fucked your car up. The nigga fucked your car up. The nigga fucked your car up. So now you steady pulling money out of the black community. I do that with the white folks too now. White folks, white, white motherfuckers fuck my car, I'm going to say the same thing. I ain't going back to them motherfuckers. Yeah, but think about it. How many times you done went to the dealership and the dealership done, done fucked you up? But yet you didn't stop going to the dealership. Because uh, there's a difference between, between dealership and a motherfucker shade tree now. Oh, oh, I ain't gonna say shade tree. I ain't gonna try it down there. I ain't gonna. That's that's that was kind of fucked up. But they fucking shit up. They gonna fix it on the look. If 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 uh, Uncle John fucking shit up, you got you got you got to come out some more man. Okay, but then <laughs> you now you you also money. take that risk when you go to Uncle John and Uncle John ain't charging you but twenty dollars to put you some brakes on, but the dealership charging your ass six hundred. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. that's a give and take there. That's why motherfuckers really, because you kind of, you kind of got to look at it like, you know what I'm saying? Economics, you know, I've been, I've, I've been on there. I really believe that economics are, should be, 
distributed fairly, but we have to value our economics. We have a lot of black people or people in our community that don't value their economics because I see them just, I, I, I seen a dude, I know he ain't nowhere near a millionaire. He ain't nowhere near 50000 I seen him burning $100 bills. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. You feel me? Like, we talk about the other communities, but I, I know a lot of motherfuckers in the neighborhood that could honestly get out the community, but they don't choose. They choose to spend their money on other shit. You feel me? But that ain't, that ain't the point. My thing is, what I really want, is I want us to be equal as if, you know what I'm saying, white man on paper, black man on paper the same. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I could walk in the bank and with me saying I'm black won't be no different than me saying I'm white. You see what I'm saying? I can go to any real estate agent or try to apply for anything I want to apply for. Me being me circling black should be just as equal as me circling white. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Boy, why is that question? Well, they they not on on your credit application. They not on there. They, those questions, what what race you are. The only thing that matters is the credit score. That's all. Mm. You think about it, when you go buy a car, they don't ask you if you black or not. They already see you black. They already see if you they got, white. They got codes for that. Same way when they told you when Donald Trump was denying blacks to uh, rent apartments in his uh, apartment complex. In Trump Towers. The uh, the people that was getting the applications, they was right. On it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It, it, it is. So got, I feel it, you. It's all coded. You ain't gonna get the application at some place. They gonna, mm-hmm. they gonna turn. That's, that's what I'm right. saying. At the door. He's saying that it should be taken out of out of there. And another and another thing is, you know, what I'm saying the media, how the media portrays us and how uh, they view us. Right. That's, that, that, now that play saying? a big. That, that might yeah. play the biggest part because they make us look like we are the worst thing. On the earth, when if you look at you, you, if you look at history and what the white people have done, God, these motherfuckers have slaughtered millions, bro. Yeah, they slaughtered they, millions. They, like I ain't gonna say murder. I'm gonna say just slaughter. Like yeah, they, they, genocide. They, they, like they, man, they track, they track record uh, with calling us uh, thugs and violent and all of that. They track record man ten times. Thousand times worse. Everything, everything they stand on, built on violence. So, everything they got built on violence. You know, now, as far as speaking of the race and all this stuff, you know, what I'm saying being on the application and stuff. If if that's the case, then how do y'all feel about the census? Filling out the census, uh, the census form, telling how you know what race you are, how many people in your house, and all that type of stuff. Do y'all feel that out or no? That's, that, that's giving them. That's giving them a reason to follow the money away. They always feel like okay. If we don't fill out this census or or don't be counted in the census, I feel like they just, I mean, you know who I am. You know where I'm at. You got my social security card. You know what I'm saying? You know how many people, you know, every, you know the uh, makeup of this country before you even fill out this damn census card. But you know, you got some people that say that your your communities are not funded correctly because you don't fill out the well, census. I think I think what they, I think the purpose of the census is to know where everybody is. You know what I'm saying? Because you may have moved. You know what I'm saying? In in the four however many years they do the census. Mm-hmm. So I guess they want to figure out where you at. Okay, track with the population. Yeah, maybe. You know what I'm saying. I mean, that's that's the, basically like what D's saying too. That's maybe the easy way to keep up with population. You know what I'm saying. That's not accurate. It's still not accurate <laughs> because, like you said, everybody not feeling out the census. Like me, I don't and feel like the census. I ain't niggas. never had myself. Yeah. Never in my life. And to know how many Negroes that I got to lock up. That, I mean, yeah, all that play a part. That I need to disenfranchise for these uh, few years. That I need to uh, to basically. Find out where you at so we can we can put the pressure over here, lock you up, take away your voting right, take away your privileges so we can still continue to be the majority. That's why I like where we at now, because where we at now, just for the people on my live and the people out there, where we at now, we trying to just throw some stuff out there that kind of like, let's get some solutions out here. Like, what we need, you know, like, what do y'all think we need to do to actually live freely? Um, 
live however you like just live freely and do what you want to do in well, life well what's going on now man within this climate that's happening and then, and and don't get it twisted this is a climate of change uh we, we it's not going back we're not going back and we want everything moving forward with with great speed we ain't trying to be spoon fed no more you got a lot of people that's on that same wavelength you it's gonna take saying? time though it's gonna take time. yeah it's not gonna happen listen, overnight listen, let me tell you something let me tell you something how much how much how much i don't mean to be so fucking vulgar but how much yes, goddamn does. more goddamn time do they goddamn need they don't need no more goddamn time to put this motherfucking shit right. I mean, I I, I agree. Like I think we, it should happen no today, but it's not time. just realistic. That's all the nah. they gonna keep doing is tell you, oh yeah, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. Next thing you look up, it's another uh uh five ten years, and it's another damn George Floyd. They gonna tell you again. It takes time. It don't take no goddamn time to do what's right. Well, America. It don't take me. It's it a do. Don't, it don't, no. It, it take it. it it, how much? Okay, let's just say you know what I'm saying. You made a couple mistakes in your life. It take you just it take you some time to right your wrong. You see what I'm saying? How long do you think it's gonna take to right five, four hundred years of wrong? Shit, you gotta add numbers to that. This shit been <clears throat> oh well more than that. Yeah, yeah, cause we still this coming to prison day been time. Going on. This is this is this is the excuse that they wanna keep feeding you. They show you every day that they can do whatever they want to do. And this, and this good want. point. But we still have to I be realistic. At, I bro. look at I look at institutions that you would look at that's strictly good old boy institutions like NASCAR that they hold uh they hold fan base is damn. Uh, like a Klan rep, KKK, rebel flag, Confederate flag, battle flag, and they say we're not flying it no more. So you can't tell me that it can't be changed. Okay, this okay, this is what I'm saying. And 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 the same way, laws. It don't take. I mean, yeah, you can put legislation down. You know what I'm saying? But it don't take forever. Don't See, don't get it twisted. It, whenever they want something to go through, how long did it take them to pass this damn stimulus? Our package and for you to get a damn check in the mail. If, if we don't, if we don't do this shit right, it took a minute. It ain't gonna do nothing but, but come it back around. But see now, I, I mean, it, I, it didn't take no time. I'm, they showed you. That I got to do what they want. I do. got a question. Since since you brought up, they showed you they could do what they want to do, right? So obviously, in their game plan, fixing the economic situation or making it equal is not in their game plan. Do it make sense? Doesn't it make sense. So, I also, to quote the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, we have been arguing about this for the past time. Injustice, equality, jobs. How long are we going to wait for somebody to give us a handout when we got the power to do it for ourselves? I hate when, I hate when people use that, that, that analogy. Why? Especially when you say handout. We, we're, not act, we're not asking for no handout. We're asking for... What's due us Our just do That's it And whatever you feel like Our just do Is if it comes in the form Of a check it's Called reparation Or if it comes in the form Of uh, criminal justice reform If it comes in the form Of educational reform If it comes in the form Of uh, uh, Civil reform Then that's what it is I think Um <clears throat> We got we got to just kind of take all the the shit that we've been see we've been fed a whole lot of bullshit for hundreds of years. You see what I'm saying? We got to take that shit out and let's just think like what your common sense. Some people say common sense. Don't think what your common sense, but let's just think what your common sense is right now, just for a second. Nigga on spiritual diet just, in a just, sense. Just, <laughs> just, yeah, just for one second. Just just give me. Can y'all both just give me with me for one second? Okay. To kind of bring y'all to a re reality a little bit, just a little bit. Go ahead. We're asking them, right, mm -hmm. to kind of just erase their history. See mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The stuff that they value, like you just made it, you just made an, a, a good point when you talked about NASCAR. You see what I'm saying? That's what they do. You see what I'm saying? We wanted to join them. 
You see, that's just like if you do something a certain way, and I want to get in your motherfucking car, I can't come in your car telling you that um what you're doing offend me. No, 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 uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, let me finish, let me finish, let, you ain't gonna let, 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 let him roll with Please it, let's let see, let's see where he's going with it. Because that was just a small analogy, don't, don't let that small analogy take away from the big picture, it's, that was just so small. I can't come with your motherfucking shit talking about some. oh man, I don't, I don't like the way you doing shit, this shit ain't fair to me. You don't give a fuck, you don't get the fuck out, we didn't ask you to be, I mean, we didn't ask you to be here, but that's just, that's just a small analogy, but what I'm getting at. All that shit gonna come back around Cause we asking them to do all that change Hey, take away your flag Don't y'all do this Don't y'all celebrate being white It gonna come one time when they feel like Okay, y'all don't celebrate being black then Don't you go around saying black pal If I can't go around saying white pal this, It's gonna come to that if we don't do this shit right You see what I'm saying It gonna come to, okay Black people get what they want I'm telling how they gonna feel now we, Black people get what they want now, now get what Now they gonna start getting offended and guess what? It's we right back to square one. Get what? Now, black, it's some it's something that we can't do. Don't do that now. Don't you say cracker? Don't you say this? They offend them. Don't you say this? They offend them. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, we so proud to be black and we want to celebrate being black. But why should we give a fuck about what they do though? Like right. what they doing? Like I, like we we had the analogy about the flag. Of course, that flag is a me. You feel me? It mm. does. Mm. But that's they, that's they history. That's what they do. We can make our own flag that offend them, and who gives a fuck? We just got two offensive ass flags. We just got two offensive <laughs> ass flags because guess what? When they when they take okay, when we start erasing their history, take this down, take this out the books, do this, do that. Guess what they gonna start doing? Okay, we are gonna take our shit out too. No more black history. No Great more. point. No more this. No more that. Since, since, since we all equal, since y'all wanna be equal, we all gonna be people. You see what I'm saying? Let's be human. No more white power. No more black power. We just but this. this, but this is the key. And then, guess what? There's gonna be another motherfucking thing for us, people to argue over. Us no, to motherfucking no, no, no. complain about. But this is the key. Oh, y'all wanna take our history? Well, y'all took ours. This is the key, though. This is the key. The key is you do have the right to do whatever you want to in your home, your car. And nobody said you, you can fly the flag in your home, your car, your yard, whatever. Your school. Saying your is, school. This your, this, this that's is, school, right? This is. This is representing <laughs> the whole <laughs> of people, the whole state of Mississippi, in particular, with this uh, Confederate flag. Then this is not representing the people. Man, you want to know, know, know what a white? Hold on, hold on. You want to know what a white person told me? A, a white person told me we are not begging y'all ass to be here. I swear to God. I was just about to ask. Could I you swear to God, a white person told me. We ain't begging y'all motherfucking niggas to be here. Do they you know they ain't say niggas. And do you yeah. know what you should have did? You should have slapped that motherfucker. Man, them facts. Them motherfucking out. facts. I can leave if I want to. You can leave if you want to. You can go wherever the fuck you want to go. You're a free motherfucker. You shouldn't have to motherfucker goddamn uh, go you anywhere. Should, you shouldn't have to, but guess what? You offended by that flag, so bye. And you accept it. So, no, it ain't accepted. It. It's about if it, if it bothers you that much. If you, if I just you, got, like, that. That. you cannot be that. You can't be Can't that I, I, I don't I don't want to tell them what to do in their motherfucking no, house no, 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 because no, no, I don't no, want no, them no. telling me what the fuck to do in my motherfucking house. This is, this is I can't tell them how to celebrate their history because they're going to turn around and tell me, oh, now nah, we're going to put limitations on how so, you celebrate your motherfucking so history. you are telling me. They did try to take slavery out of the history books. That this is their house. We, we, we ain't got nothing to do with it. They in power. Can't fuck. They in power, Can't honestly. Fuck. You, you, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. You know you know what I'm saying. We're not you saying we don't have. Nothing he know to do what I'm with. saying because he's but very smart, intelligent. It, people people of Simpson, they are in they power. Very intelligent. Don't let him think this. They are in power. They control everything from the top, trickling down to the bottom. Because get what? If we if we was in control, listen, 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 that flag would have be been down. No, 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 that no. flag would have been down. If no, we was in control. No, 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 no. Watch this. Watch this. And it's forms of it still going on, but if. They was in control, like they want to be in control. Then your ass will still be in them goddamn fields. Don't get it fucking twisted. We are in the field. They just call <laughs> jobs now. Don't be in the field. <laughs> they just call jobs. Nah, they ain't in no field. In no right. field. We just high paid slaves now. That's it. And don't ever disrespect it's the truth. What those folks did. It's I not no disrespect against them. Cotton, man. It's not no disrespect yes, about it them is, picking cotton. All slaves didn't pick cotton, bro. 
It was slaves in the house too, bro. Just chilling. Hell, you had slave overseers. Yeah, slave. That was in the. In but the what I'm saying, I'm not disrespecting what happened. So yeah, some slave so didn't even word, see the sun. So in other words, yeah, some slave didn't see sunlight. So hold on, wait a minute. So in other words, this is this is what happens when you when you when you when you when you when you when you, when you, when you end up reading the textbooks and the narrative that they place on you because they have watered down history so much that we tend to think slavery, oh, it must that, be that, that, That's you, fam. That's you thinking my, that my way. My great-grandma was a slave. No, my great-grandma was a slave. Like, because if the <laughs> crazy hell. She told me what the shit what was. What they did to their ancestors, we wouldn't even be sitting here talking. We would be somewhere busting somebody's goddamn head. So, I got a question. If that's the case, then when I ask the question, can we do it on our own, the answer should have been yeah then. Yeah. Because if we can, if they can go out and create a civil war amongst themselves to keep slavery or to fight the or to abolish slavery, why can't we go out and do the same thing to get the equal to get the equal economic that we supposed to have? Because a nigga scared, nigga want to go vote instead of put his motherfucking life on the line. So you want to go wish they gonna nigga want to put his life on the line, nigga want to go vote. Put your life on the line with your bad ass. My motherfucking life been on the line. <laughs> they ain't gonna. I mean, it's, it's like this right. My life. I got a question. Do, I got a question, do, and this goes for all three of us. And I can tell you my understanding. Come through. Come through. Since the brutal massacre of George Floyd. How many black people have you seen being pulled over by the police since then? Okay. Okay. Out of those plenty, how many times have you stopped to actually sit down and observe that situation to make sure he wasn't doing, uh, doing, been doing wrong? I hadn't had an opportunity. You drove by him and saw him, so you had an opportunity. I hadn't, I hadn't had an opportunity. So this is, this is what I'm saying. It's easy to talk. It's easy to go do this. It's another thing to put your feet in, on the ground and actually well, go do something. Hey, Question back on you. How many have you did? I've only done one since, what and I actually done it today. Well, show me the footage. I didn't video oh, record. See, I didn't video record. Come on, bro. We gotta get. We gotta do now we do. We God also. Damn. We all have to step up and start doing something better. Saying, we gotta treat saying. each other better. Yeah, you know what I'm bro. saying. What I'm saying is, and y'all know we're at a point where we are trying to be civil. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not. I don't want to go out. And kill nobody or hurt nobody. I want people to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like the movement is going in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? But why because not though? We got people that are that are standing with us. You know what I'm saying? Because really and truly, really and truly, if it came down to civil war, I have I have nothing but one way to go. I gotta stand with my people. You know what I'm saying? But we are a and, and maybe to a fault, but we are a loving people. We, and that's probably the reason why we still where we're at. But you know what I'm saying? Now, that's the excuse I'm tired of. Like, you said that excuse, yeah. he said, now that's the bullshit I'm tired of. That we're a loving, this and that, no, motherfucker. We the meek. Scared. No. We fucking scared. Because every time I bring up, man, they're going to, no, 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 no. man, they're going to they gonna just wipe us out. They're going to get the military to wipe us out. Motherfuckers are scared as fuck. See, my thing is like that. They ain't loving them folks. They you, scared of them folks, man. Them folks don't, don't love white people. They scared of them, too. The thing I don't about know it no, is... I don't, know no white, I don't know too many motherfuckers that really about the movement that just love white motherfuckers. Ain't you just scared of them, too. Ain't we, no loving people. We scary, man. The oppressed do that take on the real. worst characteristics of the oppressor. So, what does the oppressor feel about us? They fear us. Vice versa. They fear if we get in power, we would do them the same way they did us. That's why they're not going to relinquish power. We need to, nation. That's we why they're not going to the relinquish power. Field. That's why they're not going to distribute the economics in an equal manner to where we all could be on a level playing field. Because at the end of the day, if we mess around there and go up and they're steady going down, they're in fear that we may enslave them. We may do them what, like they did us. That The same rhetoric they were pushing when they put Barack Obama in office. Oh, it's a black man in office. He finna put all white folks in slaves. Let me ask y'all a question real quick. Uh huh. Do y'all think, you know, it might not, it might be hundred years, thousand years from now. It might be, you know, never know when it might be. But do y'all think one day it will be just no more white people? Like there's no more white people. Mm, I wouldn't. I, with, with adaptation, I wouldn't say that it wouldn't be no more white people. But you do have a 
Uh, like, would they be an endangered species? <laughs> would they I, I would say yes. I mean, but because because of the, the breeding process right now, where the color lines are blurred. Technically, technically, if you want to get technical, but I know where you're going. If the numbers ran out, you know, for the length of time, then technically they would be extinct. At this rate, we going at this rate. I mean, it would be. It would be. I need a mathematician would, to come. We wouldn't here. be here to see the show. Oh, I, that's what I said. It's gonna be a th- at least a thousand years. From yeah. Now. It'll be thousands and thousands of years. But technically, there is no such thing as a white person. Motherfucker look white to me, cuz. Technically. Technically. Okay. Technically, technically. Explain to the people why. What, European? If you're going through science and scientific, or if you even believe in the Bible, uh, there was Adam and Eve. It wasn't Adam and Eve over here and then. I I mean. You had more people in the Bible, but go ahead. What what I'm saying is, I guess, the, the start of creation. You know what I'm saying? But if you just have Adam and Eve and it come from one uh, set of offspring. Don't you dare believe that. If you believe that shit, we could cut the mics off right now. <laughs> well, what hold on, hold on. Well, what do you believe? Yeah, Cause, what, what cause do you, you believe? Because it's like, come on. What, what, what do you believe? Because even if you go in that story, you got Adam and Eve and they had two sons, Cain and Abel, and Cain and Abel got married. To fucking who? But you also had the Canaanite people here. Adam and Eve were not the actual start of creation. Even if you read it in the Bible, Eve wasn't even the well, first well, woman. Well, don't give me that then. If you're going to <laughs> spit it, then give me some concrete that's going to tell me. You the one brought the Bible up, so let's talk about it. Well, no, nah, hell no. What did what start from? Oh, you, uh, shit. The, the human, human race. There's no, there's no way to prove that scientifically nor religiously exactly where it came from. There's no way to prove it. Well, then, well, I'll take that version. So you're going to take oh, their version? Oh, goddamn. I wish we could just pause rewind <laughs> no, 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 about no, no, five no. minutes ago. I, when, I say, I, when I say they, I mean the version of the Bible. Which is yeah, the, the which their version. version. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Hold on. We're going to rewind. But, but even if you even if what whatever you say, if it was Adam and Eve, whatever, everybody and all the scientists, that I've seen and researched, they said that it came from a black woman. That's where all life began, from a black woman. All Man. it is is, is mutations. Honestly. Mutations the, over time. The from, Bible from is. The climate. That, that the Bible in. is the Jewish book of fairy tales. It, 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 the Bible is a good book. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm just talking about the climate that you're in, the foods that you eat. That determines the pigmentation of your skin. It does not. Okay. You have you have genetic markers to determine the, the pigmentation of your skin. Because <laughs> goddamn it, <laughs> that motherfucker was in India. Mm-hmm. You got motherfuckers in India. They're just as dark as I. <laughs> you got and then you got some that just as light. They in the same motherfucking region. Not a that's that's not even a dispute, but because they're still the same race got, though. If you got fair-skinned people. Then you come from a climate of what? There's not a lot of sun. You probably was in a cave for thousands of years. So now you want to go to the Caucasus Mountains? Over time, your skin lost its pigmentation. Question then. You stay in a you stay in a room for for a year and you come out and see how you gonna come out white. I swear to God. <laughs> my hair my hair's still gonna be nap as hell. Hold on, my hair's still gonna be nap as a motherfucker, right? It's gonna roll up. It ain't gonna straighten out just because I'm in the room now. It, it's more about genetics than just your skin color now. Yeah. If it, if you, if, especially if you still be... gonna roll up nice and nappy. Say, say whatever you want. You, Them you, just you, facial. You, oh, wait a minute. You act like you act like you have not you have not seen black people with 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 blonde hair, with blue eyes, with long straight hair. Never. Oh, I, well, I've seen it. Never. I've seen. It. I got I got a cousin they that was, actually but got they green pigment, eyes. Their pigment was not like I never seen somebody your color with blonde hair. Unless it was dyed. Never seen nobody born like they that. They are. But no, I, I will I, say, I, I, I'm all good. Listen, with... listen my, my world, listen, my world is not big as you guys. I'm sorry. But um, you asked me, have I ever seen? I said, I never seen a you? baby come out Dead darker dark than me with blonde hair. With blonde, I never seen it. Yeah, I've, ne- I've never yes. seen that either. Yes. I, I've right. seen an albino baby come out like that. And that, that. baby one did. Uh, albino yeah. is not this. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. 
I've, 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 there, there is a no. Grab that, grab that grab motherfucker. Grab, grab, it, grab, grab that motherfucker. Grab that motherfucker. Go ahead, Terry. But now, I mean, just for speaking on that right there. I mean, you can get so deep into that, but we gonna come right. We gonna we gonna come back to the picture. But I mean, we were talking about the flag, and especially with the flag in the NASCAR with Bubba Wallace. Y'all heard about him? Uh, in in his in his it ain't a locker room, but in his pit. They had a noose hanging up because he was the first one to to do the um, I Can't Breathe and Black Lives Matter and asked them to remove the Confederate flag from NASCAR, and they right. did. And then now come to find out they had a noose hanging in the, um, in, in the pit. Bro, oh, my God. Bro, that, for really, I'm going to just be real. For one, you need to learn your colors. This is Sandy Brown. <laughs> this is Sandy Brown, like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's not blonde. Blonde. Now this is more. I can say this is more blonde, but I think that's. I don't think that's. That could be just being posed. Yeah, but I don't know about I'm that just saying. But no, I mean it's there. Fly, that flower don't look real to me. Nah, that flower look real. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, that's like somebody edited it. But, uh, but I mean, that's just that one particular picture. It don't but, look like there's nowhere around do, here. We do, you know what I'm saying? And I will say this. We as melanated people do hold genetic markers to where you can change. You know, you have different eye colors and stuff like that. That's, that's very understandable. It's just like your beard. They can't see it on the on the camera right now, but your beard red. You know what I'm saying? Your beard is Sandy Brown because you ain't did your um, Just For Me and Kit. But it's okay. Yeah, my natural hair color is red. No, it's not. Because your natural hair color is the color of your eyebrows, and your eyebrows are fucking dark. What color is that? My hair on my arm. Can, can you even see it? Black. Uh -uh. It's like Sandy Brown, honestly. Red. It's, I, I don't give a damn. Honestly. Yeah, it really don't matter. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you, just you, know, a, you just a. Just you, you might be a white boy. That's why you fucked up right I'm now. Yeah, you let, might be a let, white let boy. Let him answer the phone. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you gotta throw some jokes in there, man. But, but back to this, man. What y'all feel on that Bubba Wallace shit, man, with them hanging a noose in this shit? Like. Man, you got people. Listen. You got people that just hate, man. You understand me? Like. I'm 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 just not that person to really just let shit affect me. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. if somebody was to hang a noose up in front of my house, you know what I'm saying? I would kind of talk to kind of control control that rage, control your you know what I'm saying? Control your energy. I probably laugh like, motherfucker, really thought this was gonna piss me off. Mm -hmm. Cause that's all they doing is just to piss you off and make you mad. If you don't let it affect you, then that you know what I'm saying? That just Better on you, but the topic is we talking about the flag and the Mississippi State flag and the Confederate well, flags. Well, back in the day, uh, with the news, that that was really a uh, intimidation thing. They would come burn crosses, and, you know what I'm saying. And, and back then, you know, they had a lot of people in fear because it was a whole different climate. You know what I'm saying. So. They, they just using that symbolism to try to keep people in fear. That's the same way I say about the, 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 the flag. They just keeping that little bit of reminder up to let you know that, hey, we still in power. They don't want to give, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what's the point of flying a flag that doesn't represent all people? But, I mean. And then people will say, well, I did. My whole thing. How can you design my a My whole thing is this. I, I don't care about white people flying a flag. Fly it all you want. Black people that's draped in the Confederate flag. I mean, oh my God. I mean, but that's them. Them the ones that you excommunicate away from the cause. We need to make our own goddamn flag. I mean, but really and truthfully, when you start talking about the Confederate flag, what what flag have you been done more harm on? The Confederate flag or the American flag? We put impressed by Chels and got them in charge of making the goddamn new black flag. You, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna make our own. Shit, we flag. got we got black flag. We got the Pan African flag. We got the uh the, the Nation of Islam flag with with the um with the red, which stands for the blood. You know what I'm saying? You got the, the crest on there that stands for the sun, and you got this, the, the star on there that stands for the stars in the sky. You did what I'm saying? Something that they can't remove. But it, it just depends. If you want it, just like they, they flying the Confederate flag, fly you a flag. Hell, you can, you can go out that motherfucker and draw. I'm going to make me a flag. Them bitches are going to be this right here. Bam. How about, how about just do the fist? Nothing, that could be nothing, our flag. Nothing, nothing wrong with that, but, but this, is, this is the key. In my opinion, 
what happens is when you do that, like you said before, you'll have white people. Oh, I don't like the I don't like y'all flag. Y'all flag is disrespectful. All this. See, this is what the the elite and the the people that's in power they do. They like to see that division. They don't ever want to see. You know what I'm saying? People come together on a common ground and 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 be what the government is supposed to be. That is of and by the people. That was the Listen, way the old we, we, government okay, was. Let me, let me just break it there down in no simple terms. Because old government. The yeah. government that was written was written by people that for, had slaves. <laughs> for white men. Yes. But now what was written was actually some really good shit that really going to fuck them up in the end because you're going to have to stand on it. If not, this this, this nation is going to crumble. It's going to crumble. Wait, wait a minute. What did they write in the beginning of the government that they now going to have to eventually stand on? Don't it's going to crumble? What did they write in this? You know what they wrote the Constitution? Nigga, you talking about the Constitution that wrote by people that had slaves. That you weren't even people at that time. And then they came in and amended the Constitution. What did I just say? What did I just say? Okay, it is also they written. They wrote a Constitution for white men. But they wrote it in a way that now you cannot be excluded. But let me just you be You got to stand on what you say. <laughs> let me let me be honest. This is for all three of us. Okay. We, we so goddamn smart that we done. We so smart. That we're looking into all the other shit and we not even looking into like normal human nature. Like we expect somebody to just relinquish power. Like what's the point of having power if you ain't going to use it? We just expect a natural human being with power to just, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of living good. I'm tired of doing what the fuck I want to do. I think my mic been off this whole time. Has it? I think so. I see, you know we what? can hear you. <laughs> we expect them to just give us power. Man, we got to take this shit, man. We got to take this shit. They're not just going to say they're tired of living good. They're tired of being elite. They're tired of being fucking millionaires. They're tired of doing whatever the fuck. They're not going to say that. They're not just going to say, man, you know what? We've been balling 400 years. Man, it's time to stop balling. Hell no, nah, bro. We, like, come on, bro. Like, this normal human. That's not what nobody is asking nobody to do. Yes, it is. No, 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 Ain't no. Ain't take no, their foot off our neck. Nobody's. Take their foot off our neck, but that's the point nobody, of being in power. Nobody, the reason why I'm in power is to put my foot on your neck, bro. So if that's. you telling if, me if, to if, that, if that's the case, if that's the case, then. Ain't no, we, we got to go to war. We got to take this shit, bro. That's the only way. We got to take now, the power, But bro. now. And then we got the power. Get what? We, but all now, you got to do, all you got to do is just, I wish we could just be a power for one day. I bet you black folks ain't trying to let that shit go. What? Hell no, nah, we ain't going to let that shit go. Just be like, man, you know what? Get these white folks a chance. Hell no, nah, man. We ain't we gonna been be in power. Oh, shit. We, we been in power. You ain't. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. We've been power. Go ahead. I want you to talk. Go ahead. I'm just telling you, we we ran the we we were the first people Man, don't that you know, had civilization. Don't we you know those folks did this right here, bro? They took our grandmamas in, great grandmamas in, had their child breastfed by our motherfucking people, and then took their child when they got grown older and just said, "Fuck you." Careful. Man, you don't even understand. You tell me you want to reason with these, these are people that you want to reason with. Let's go vote. Um, Let's go talking. Let's just go get at the table and get a couple of black people in the door. And let's talk it out. Let's just talk. Talk, talk, talk. Let's sign a few papers. Man, it ain't going to do shit, man. We're going to be right back. Well, yet right now, it's just the same thing over and over again. Motherfucker, act like we ain't been here before. We have been here before. We what we never, doing right now, we, we have, been here we before, never, bro. We have never, ever, it's a different climate. We have never, ever been at this point where we are right now in history. only thing different right now is the coronavirus. No. Man, if the world was going like it was no, going. No, 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 no. Think no. about it. 
the coronavirus really gave people time to just sit at home and just, you feel me, really get their mind focused. If coronavirus when it came in, you know how many yeah, you had you yeah, had people all you had people in LA balling. You know what I'm saying? You had people you had people, you know what I'm saying? The only thing that it's it, 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 not the, the only, main reason, the but only it thing the, the only thing that it has to do with right now in this climate is the police police brutality and and the systematic racism that exists in this country. This I don't know how many days of protests been going on. I don't know how many. Uh, I, I want to bring about something to the table. Uh, and then once I read this, I will actually screenshot and send it to you. But did you know that the United States Constitution actually apologized for slavery? Huh? Did you know that? Quote that. Read All right. It. Congressional record. Volume 155 in 2009, Part 12, Senate, pages 15,547 through 15,554 from the United States Government Publishing Office. It is a lot to read, but I'm going to give you the logistics of it. Here we go. Where it is, it's important for the people of the United States who legally recognize slavery through the Constitution and the laws of the United States to make a formal apology for slavery and its successor, Jim Crow, so they can move forward and seek reconciliation, justice, and harmony for all people in the United States. Now, there before it be, uh, be it, resolved by the Senate, the House of Representatives concurring, that the sense of the Congress is the following, apology for the enslavement and segregation of African Americans, the Congress, A, Acknowledges the fundamental injustice, cruelty, brutality, and in inhumanity of slavery, Jim Crow, and, and Jim Crow laws. B. Apologize to African Americans on behalf of the people of the United States for the wrongs committed against them and their ancestors who suffered under slavery and Jim Crow laws. C. Expresses this recommitment to the principle that all people are created equal and endowed with inalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness and cause on all people of the United States to work toward eliminating racial prejudice and injustice and discrimination from our society. C, number two, disclaimer. Nothing in this resolution, A, authorizes or supports any claim against the United States, or B, serves as a settlement of any claim against the United States. So, hearing me read that, they apologize, but they basically took all accountability away because they said that you can't hold it against America no more because we apologize. You oh, do bullshit. If you think I'm lying, there's the text right there. Sir. Bullshit. Hold on, hold on. This don't even look like some shit they wrote in back in the day. But um, no, bullshit. no, no. This right here was just in 2009. Bullshit. When they did it. Oh shit. They, they, this was they, just in 2009. They ain't no goddamn well. Just uh, an apology don't mean don't don't. Hell, I can apologize for motherfucking killing you. That don't mean I'm not still responsible. Right. So let me ask you, what you're saying, let me ask everybody on live, everybody in the Sip City where I want y'all to comment under the, in, in the comments what y'all think and what y'all want. Like, what do we really want? Do we want it to be always us versus them, no matter who on top? See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is that what we want? Or do, do we want it to one day just be us? Like, you know, Dr. King said. Do, do, you, do we want to be equal? Do you, do you, equal? Want, do you want it to be just us? Or do you always want it to be us versus them? No matter, like, if we on top, we still against them. Or they on top, we still against them. Do you want it to be us versus them? Or do you want it to one day just be us? Period. Go ahead. That is a good damn are question. You, are you asking me that? Yeah, yeah I want to know what, the, like, as, as, a, as black people, what do what are we really fighting for? Are we fighting to be on top and it still be separation like us versus them? Or are we fighting to all be one and force the United States to be what they say they are? Like we are all one people, is that what we trying to do, or are we trying to like? I'm because I'm 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 trying to get a a good mental picture of what the goal is. Well, if whatever your mental picture or whatever goal is that you trying to conjecture, some black metropolis or some black uh, Annapolis or this fairy tale land where you can go and black people got an oasis. Uh, you might well get that out your head. That ain't what he asked. I asked you what you want. <clears throat> I'm what just you breaking, fighting for? I'm just breaking it down to you the way the way that it's going to have to be. <clears throat> it's going to have to be some type of racial harmony, and in most cases, 
you do have it in a day-to-day basis. People of all races do, you know what I'm saying, get along for the most part. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't like you still don't have those uh, hang-ups or prejudices or different things that may hold a person back from just actually right. opening right. up to a person of a different race. But I know people all the time, they'll be like, you know, once they get to know a person, they'll be like, oh, that ain't what I thought. You know what I'm saying? If you sit up and you listen to the news media and you let them keep trying to divide people be based on the pigmentation of their skin, ain't nothing wrong with you having pride of who you are, pride of self, pride of race. White people, be proud of who you are. Ain't nobody saying nothing that's wrong with that. But at the end of the day, in the society that we live in today, you're going to have to get along with your counterparts. And for all you Christians out there. Wait a minute, Nick. That want to say you're a God-fearing and want to go to heaven and this and that, I got news for you. Ain't no black heaven. Ain't no white heaven. It ain't no heaven. I'm just telling them what they're trying to get to. These for the these for the Christian. <laughs> this nigga is crazy. I asked you what the fuck you fight. Okay, I'm trying what they. I'm just trying. Look, I'm just trying. To, I'm, I'm gonna, trying to you tell you. You guys have talking about the what is you fighting I'm for? I'm fighting bro? for right now for my kids to not have to go through an unequal bias system where white privilege is prevalent where they feel privileged where they don't have to go through the injustices or injustices uh, of this whole system and we know it's injustices throughout it from criminal justice finances, economics education uh, prisons you know I mean it's, it's all across the board and you cannot tell me that if anything that you can put a number to, that you can see where it's skewed, where it's messed up, that you can't correct it. It can be corrected. By the, I'm just telling you. All right, I'm going to give you a simple answer, then we're going to take a break. Hold on, uh, uh, before you give me your an answer, because we're going to take a break and we might not get to it, I just want to get to what my daddy said about your statement. About yeah. your, um, he said... But where is your for this this directed to you? Mm-hmm. He said, But where is your hundred acres in your move in your mule that all white people got? Damn an apology. I said the same thing. That's why I said that's why I read the apology because at the end of the apology they put a disclaimer in it saying that they are relinqu we we have to relinquish them of accountability because they put an apology out. That's why I read it like I read it. They do apologize. You, do, do you believe that? Okay, okay, okay. I just told okay. you. <laughs> I just said that. Sir. Nobody, uh, an apology, I can wipe my ass <laughs> with that uh, goddamn apology. That apology don't mean shit. Yeah, I'm, that's what he was saying. Uh, that's what I was saying in the that's beginning. Saying. <laughs> they apologized, but they took all accountability away by putting what they put in that document. He said it's some bullshit. That's bullshit. Just, hey, go said. ahead. Hey, Y'all but, both said it's bullshit. Yeah, we. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. You, but you, to give you, you my you answer you like this right here, or what what I will fight for. for me. Um, <laughs> this, I don't want to hear that bullshit. This is my what I would say. Then we gonna go to break. What you fight for, bro? Do you if, want if, to be if, equal? Or do you want to be? I, I'm on top. I want my people to be on top. And we, are, you know what I'm saying? Or do you want to be like, okay, fuck it, we gonna we gonna force these people to, people to live up to what the hell the Constitution say? All men are created. Give me 400 years of the same goddamn shit that y'all been going through, that y'all been had, and then we can make it equal. That's my answer. Okay. And we are gonna go to break on that. Sip City that's podcast. We'll be right back. That's Mr. Death. Trump. He's like a gangster. Just a minute, you know. If so and so, I bombed the, you know what, out of them. Huh? Yeah, we should go into Iraq and just take the oil. I said, ooh. I said, man, this, this guy here. And you know what? He's real. 
Trump has tapped into the vein of the common white man. Listen to what I'm saying. Now, I'm going to say some things. I just want you to bear with me because with Trump, what you see is what you got. Right, right, right. Yes, sir. Now, listen. Now, white people are hurting because the rise of black people is really shaking a lot of white people up. <clears throat> I mean, imagine if you owned a plantation and all your Negroes on the plantation, they say, yes, sir, yes, sir, boss, yes, sir, boss. every morning, yes, sir, boss. And all of a sudden, one day, what? <laughs> That'll kind of shake you up, man. Now they out there shook. I, get, I turn on my TV and there they are. Arguing with our police people. If they if they did that years ago, we'd have had them up in a tree or something. So when Mr. Trump said, "Let's make America great again," they say he means let's make America really white again. Bring back the great days. Now, do we have a picture of the uh, Confederate flag? Oh, I wish you did and put it up on the board. Ah, uh, oh, there it is. What a flag. What a flag. And look at what you did. Take it down. What? And then the governor says, yeah, take it down. It's insulting to black people because under that flag, they were slaves. And the South united for their form and way of life because agrarian uh, economy was the heartbeat of economics in America. Right. Negroes picking cotton for white folk under that flag. And now these jigaboo, I mean these people <laughs> want me to take the flag down. Right. Do you know how much white people are hurting over that? You don't even realize. You don't even realize how upset they are. Let me tell you something. See, that's a part of their history. And many white people from the South fought to keep you enslaved. And many lives were lost in the Civil War under that flag. It didn't mean nothing to us. But it meant something to them. And when you took it down, or had it taken down, because you didn't like it, and then some white folks said, yes, these Negroes is right. It's a bad flag. <laughs> then the other white people in the South, man, let me tell them, this is real serious. Because if you look at Trump's followers, when he was in the primaries, all the southern states went red. That's See? Right. Put up the American flag. There it is. Oh, say, can you see? 
by the dawn's early light. Francis Scott Key was a racist. He was a hater of black people. You should read the third stanza of what he wrote. Because in the South, many blacks fought on the side of the South. Others fled North, fought on the side of the North. And then in the war for America's independence, 6,000 blacks fought on the side of the British. And the British gave them refuge in Canada. So when Francis Scott Key saw the flag waving, he started talking about them black folks that were fighting on the side That's right. of Britain against both them flags. But now look at the American flag. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, a very wise teacher, he said that we should respect that flag. Wait a minute, don't get angry, let me tell you first. He said respect it because it is the flag of a sovereign nation. And that's what we hope to be soon, a sovereign nation. Put our flag up. This is a flag that only God and the original man put up. The red stands for the sun, the crescent stands for the moon, the star stands for the stars. Now they can't take that down because they didn't put it up. So when our savior came, he gave us the best flag that represent freedom, justice, equality. That is what Jesus taught. That is what the prophets taught. I like that flag. I pledge allegiance for that flag. But I'm always going to respect the American flag. What you're respecting it for. It ain't never respected us. You're right. We're still suffering under the American flag. Now, you're not going to tell them to take the American flag down, are you? You might. Why not get some land of our own so we can put up our flag and guarantee to our people what America never guaranteed us life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now let's finish this. 1964, that's the year the three civil rights workers came to Philadelphia, Mississippi to register black people to vote. This was in 1964. They killed them and buried them. Kim Fo, look at this. Look at all these black folks and white folks. Oh, we've been here before, bro. You better give our ancestors some credit, bro. We in the same mode bro, that they was this, in. Bro. Look at this. We in look the same them, mode. Them black and white people, them folks all. He, he ain't looking because he's scratching off his lottery tickets. No, it's all good. He, he didn't see them before. I don't see them. But, but you see them folks all the way. I'm talking about them folks from here. To Highway 80, bro. Probably past Highway 80. I'm talking about they got the whole Washington, like D.C. cover. God cover. damn, right in front of the The famous where, I Have a Dream speech. Right where the president laid his fucking head, bro. And All you, just people. 
everywhere. Sip City Podcast. Let me bring you up to speed what we were talking Hold about. Hold on. Damn, we, we going? Yeah, we going. God damn, this nigga ain't going to tell me we rolling. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking shit. Y'all don't listen to me. Go ahead. <laughs> That's my, my bad. Fault, I should have said God something. Damn, I'm talking big boy shit too. Go ahead. But this is, this is where we at. We was having a discussion on the break about the protest that's going on now versus the protest that was going on back in the past during the civil rights movement. The counterpart over there, uh, Mr. T.E.Z., say that the people nowadays are moving without fear and that the movement that we're in is different than it was in the civil rights movement. And I was explaining to him the only difference is now is that it is more televised in, in, in a certain sense. Everybody got camera phone. But back then, they were going through the same fear and the same struggle as we going through right now. He gave an analogy to say that we don't have to fear leaving our house, being snatched out of our cars by the Ku Klux Klan, and being lynched, mobbed, and hanged. And I gave him a rebuttal to say that we do have to fear leaving our house, driving our car, being stopped by the police, and being killed unarmed for no reason. Now, I do agree with his own. It is, it is a difference now. It is a difference. But it was it was really more different for us in the South. You see what I'm saying? Us in the South, we had to fear that, you know what I'm saying, back in, the, back, back in that same time, people up North didn't fear that. They didn't, they didn't really fear that, so you know what I'm saying. The South, it was different. You right, you all right about that now. I do, I do think that you know what I'm saying. The Ku Klux, the shit that the KKK was doing back then, was up here, and the shit the police doing, not kind of like up here, cause they would do, they would just ride around killing motherfuckers for no reason, coming on, coming on your property, dragging you out the house, hanging you in front of your family, and shit like nah, hell no. Nah, so is that not the police of the day? I don't think, like I said, I don't think it is. No folks, well, if you and if you want to just be like. Very um, really um, why can I say just very honest about it? No, it's not. So, it's not. so the police coming in. I don't mean to offend nobody. Like I'm yeah. trying, I'm trying to say the right thing so I don't offend nobody. I'm just being honest. Like, so, so I want to bring up the point of like the young lady Brianna Taylor where they we talked about the no not warning. They basically busted in their house whether her and her boyfriend did something wrong or not. They didn't even matter. They busted in our house. No not warning. Middle of the night, killed them. It was just, like that night. There was just one person, but back then they doing the whole street. Okay. Back they, then they doing the whole uh-huh. neighborhood. So they would take out a whole neighborhood back then. So are we saying that that's a difference, or, or that's a that's a is that a indifference of what's going on now versus what went on back then? Because I'm looking at it like it's the same shit. We just in a new civil rights movement right now. We still asking for the same shit. We still fussing about the same shit. We still asking the same motherfuckers for the same shit. Where does the, where, where where does the line get drawn at to say, I'm tired of asking you motherfuckers. Now I'm finna take something. That's a good question. Well, back to the to the topic. The topic was the climate. Was there a difference? Of course, there was a difference. We we, we agree on that, but he asked you. What, no, what no, 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 no. Okay. We he didn't agree. We, well, we're going to agree. I agree with it. He, he, he's he not going to agree. He, he didn't agree because you had a totally different climate where even your police officers was blatant, you know what I'm saying, KKK members, was blatant. And you, you didn't even have rights, which you, 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 you got uh, some rights or privileges now, and they can take them – at a whim, we know that, but it was way more prevalent. You, 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 you come up. It wasn't even a. You couldn't even ask a question. Why you pull me up, boy? Get out the car. You getting roughed up. You getting manhandled. You know what I'm saying? Like today. Mm. Like today. Why you stop me, sir? I need, your license I, I need your license and insurance. I, I swear, I seen a video about two weeks ago. Was, I think it was a Mississippi State Trooper. Yeah. Man, did a boy so bad. He, he was like, why? You still ain't told me why you pulled me out. Like, shut the fuck up. Then we'll back up. He was like, the dude waited on back up. He was like, I'm just going to sit here and wait on back up. I'm waiting on your back up. And when his back up pulled up, he didn't even say nothing. He just he went just straight, went straight to the whooping ass. 
Bam, 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 boom, boom, so boom. just imagine that. And imagine what we're going through now. Imagine that 500 times worse. But what he, well, I, I, or, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, or a thousand what times he's saying, worse. whether it was worse or not, he's saying it's still happening. Yes, yeah. of course it's whether still happening. Whether it was yeah, bad, yes, whether it was, happening. whether it was, it's a little bit, you, you okay, you, you're doing a little bit better now, but you're still fucked up. It's still bad, but what he's saying is, where is the line drawn to, like, okay, bro. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You feel what I'm saying? That's what he asking, and that's a good question I want you to answer. Like, we, we, we I agree I think, with you. I it think, was worse back then, but it's still happening today, so what? Do we need to do or when? I think the line is actually drawn now. How? And they did like the next day or the next week. They killed somebody they killed the same way. They killed the motherfucker the same way. But they but, they but hang a motherfucker from trees right now as we look, speak. But look at but look at where look at what's happening now in this climate. I'm not seeing Back shit, bro. Then, it, a police wouldn't even go to trial. Even even recently, they wouldn't even go. To, now you got them. They find them immediately. They they're putting them up on charges immediately. Let me show y'all a video. You know what I'm saying? And the video that you finished show, is is, it, is this the one that just happened uh, like yesterday in New York? No, no, no. I'm finna show you a video of the dude who killed George Floyd. They released him on that the guy. That man was in the store, man. Yeah, they released they, they, they Oh, released no, 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 no. They that, charged him, but they released not, That's not the one with the knee in it. It don't there. fucking matter. All that had to be charged. All of them, all all them got charged. The hell? They all need to be charged. All them motherfuckers need to be charged. He is charged. All them charged. Them motherfuckers don't even need to be walking the streets, man. But they ain't even been indicted yet. He's charged. He is charged. So, can can I ask you a question? Do you believe that most of your police officers now are the new KKK? So, you did see the video? Like, the dude shopping? Yeah. Yeah. Where they they confronted the dude with the video? He just shopping about his own business. No, this is what I think about police officers. And, and, and this is this wait, is wait, wait, wait. This, this is what I think about police officers. In my opinion, I think they give police officers too much power and too much control over another human being's life off of minimum training. You couldn't you couldn't be able to perform the job that a police officer does. I mean, you really need to have a four year degree. You really don't to do that. Oh God, you don't. Basically, you just need to have more more really de escalation training and I more psych training. Really well, what I'm bro. saying is, you got all people. You got people. Have, you got. All you got to do is have love in your heart. But what I'm saying, you, you got people. No with, you got people with person, less bro. important jobs that that has to have way more training. It's That's really, the only thing I'm saying. How important is it to go? Like, it, I mean, it's very important. But how? If you really just, if motherfucker really just did that job, how they supposed to do? It's not hard, bro. Oh God, you don't need no four year degree, and you don't need all these. You know what you're doing wrong, bro. You know you're doing that, bro. You don't need training to tell you that you on that man neck too damn long. You don't need training to say this man unarmed don't shoot him in the fucking back. You don't need to, you don't need training to say this man haircut don't hit his ass across the fucking head with a motherfucking stick. You don't Absolutely. need tr- a four year degree for that. No, Absolutely. you don't. That's true. You feel me? So my but point, so- my point is the one thing I did agree with you about, and I think we need to push this more because that's one thing I think could get changed. Police cannot police themselves. They cannot, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to Okay, a police fucker, they can't be the one in charge of what happened to this man. You feel me? You, you can't have your buddies judging you. And that's, and that's one thing I do agree that we that, 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 that need to change like tomorrow. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, these motherfuckers can't keep getting away free because I know somebody doing 25 years, bro. 25 years for just being in a car with somebody who murdered somebody. Too. Then that's pull no trigger. Then pull no trigger dude doing 25 years right now. I swear to God, in Mississippi, in ja- from, it happened in Jackson, bro. Just being in a car with somebody who shot somebody, bro, killed him. He and you feel me, but this dude that that stood there with it, stood there beside. There, you can't, you know what I'm saying? He can walk the streets and be just as free as he want to be, man. Let them folks out of jail, man. Did Who you, ain't pull no trigger, bro? Didn't even pull no trigger when he ain't part of it. Just was there. And he locked. You got black, you got black people locked up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Taking away from their family, their kids. 
for some shit that they even do, bro. Let them folks out, man, and put motherfuckers like that in. Unless, you know what I'm saying? If you gonna, like I said, if you gonna let that man walk, let them folks out of jail, man. You know what I'm saying? Out of My thing is like this, like what he talking about. Okay, say for instance, you got the, the four cops that were there with George Floyd. The one that was on his neck, it was three others that was there that could have said, hey, man, get up off of him. Hey, 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 you got him cuffed. No need to be on his neck. Get up off of him. They let eight minutes go by. You know what I'm saying? But now, I think it was, um, it was I, I can't remember what state it was, but it was just one of the states that just actually signed into legis legislation where now that cops are now responsible for cops. If something happens and you're their part as the backup and you kill somebody, you do somebody in an unjust manner, Everybody now is charged because you didn't stop it. Everybody gets indicted because you didn't stop it. I mean, that's and that's and that's fair because that's the same standard but they hold now, us to, right? right? But see now they hold us to that standard. But see now, ain't that what we're talking about? Right? Ain't that moving? That's that's one step in in a step in the right direction. That's one step and, in and the right now, direction. And now look, and now how long did that take? No, we talking about them to pass that legislation. Uh, that, that, you see, you, no, well, that's, that's because we're now you have Fortune 500 countries okay, okay, no, 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 cherry picking they, they, off they, our they, cars. They can fix social injustice right now. Guess what? We still gonna complain about something because we ain't. Listen, this shit. We got a whole book. Listen, this shit. Four hundred years of shit that need to be undone. This shit go from here. We all need to the start. Right there, bro. What, what, what I'm telling you, it don't. All the way outside. Well, what, I'm, what, what, need to be what fixed, I'm telling you, it don't. It doesn't take that long to start unraveling it. You start putting it in I mean, place. Should, if you look like you, you know just, what I'm saying. That's just like now. now. I feel I feel, I will feel a lot better. You know what I'm saying. If police have to think before they pull the trigger. Oh, I'm finna go to jail now. You know what I'm saying. So my chances of getting killed a little bit it don't went down a little bit because this motherfucker. He gonna think now before pulling the trigger. No, he won't because that's the reason they instituted in body cams. They instituted oh, in body cams they, they to try it. to make them think. And they, and they still, still ain't stopped them. Damn, you know what's going to stop crazy. them? What's actually going to stop them? You should not have a motherfucker that is not from your community policing your community. If you do not have a police that knows the community, knows the people that's in that community, they have no reason nor no right to be in that community policing them in any moment, any given moment of time. You shouldn't. But you got to look at Okay. You gotta think about it. You gotta think about this now. I'm just looking at my community. You see what I'm saying? I'm looking at my. It's kind of like how it, it, it's kind of how it is. Honestly, like they are policing their communities because when I go to my high school, when I when I was in high school, you know what I'm saying? I look at the pictures from the '80s. Really, it wasn't it, like the really probably from like '93. I don't know, white people. You know what I'm saying? Now you can't find one white person in there, but, and you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know what I'm saying? Ex old people, you know what I'm saying? Older people from the real black communities. Hey, man, tell me something about the community, man. It was all the black folks. Well, we used to, we, 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 out there in South Jackson, man, it wasn't no white folks. I mean, it wasn't number white folks out there. Yeah. Out there in uh, North Jackson, man, it wasn't nothing but white folks out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's black where they built North Mall. Black people was in addition, Georgetown. That's it. Addition, Georgetown was the real, was, well, black community everywhere else had white folks. And President Hill, built for white folks. I mean, I'm going to get your point. Yeah. We kind of invaded that shit and took over. And goddamn it, they still. Well, no, <laughs> see, we didn't take over. What happens is you have what you call. We took over, Jesse. White you, flight. You have what you. That, that's it. You have what you call white yeah. flight. Because we were taking over. Now, the way that. <laughs> we the, were taking over. The way the economy says is if you get more than two. Well, I think it's it's either two. Between two to five black people that move in a certain community, the property value drops. Damn. And then guess what you have? You have white flight. Oh, it's too many of them. We got to go. So they go build them a new community. Metro Center Mall, it was white at first. Metro Center Mall was white at first. Who, who, who said that shit in the, in the King's Comedy? Like, bro, they might as well stop that shit. I think it was Cedric. Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah, Cedric the Entertainer. My nigga, we going to the moon. Man, we, we coming, going to the moon, Y'all about where the fuck y'all go? Y'all go Madison. Goddamn it. Glustat. Y'all go high, get what? We go fire y'all motherfucking ass and we go be in that And you know why? Because we want to be socially accepted by them. Nah, because we like that shit, man. We that like shit. to go be out like there, them. That shit nice out there, man. You want that shit for your kids, man. You look at them white folks, how their kids can just come outside and uh, ride their bike and got to worry about nothing, man. You don't want that shit for your kids, bro? Yeah, you do. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think also... 
it's not about you trying to be like somebody else. It's like you just want to attain, you know what I'm saying, prosperity or, you know what I'm saying, you want to, you know what I'm saying, be in a great neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, whatever have you. And it shouldn't be that I should have to choose or look at a neighborhood and be like, oh, because you think about it, we had to go through that, you know what I'm saying, where we couldn't live in a white neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? A white neighborhood or a decent neighborhood? You could not get Our neighborhood was decent back then. Well, yo, 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 uh, I mean, they would tell you. Back in the day, oh, you can't live over here. Watch this. I'm going to give you an you know analogy by so just. Now, uh, if, by, you, uh, if you feel good, or, I mean, not feel good, but if you free and your money good enough, you know what I'm saying, and you can go where you want, you know what I'm saying, it's not even about. I think it I, shouldn't I, even I agree be about that. Honestly, if we just being honest, I think the inner city is just really overpopulated. Like, it's. Too many people, and when there's too many people, there's too much going on. Well, so sometimes we tend to like, let's, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you get kids and shit like that, you kind of want to get your kids away from all that. Like it's too much. It's too much. It, right? It, it's, I'm just thinking about Jackson. I don't know about I ain't. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about nothing else. I just know Jackson is the inner city, and I know Jackson itself is very overpop- overpopulated. Just look at the schools. Like nah. you walk into schools, like they got. They don't even have enough teachers to teach the kids. But now let me, but now let me say Hold this. On, I don't let me. mean to cut you off. I'm, I'm just gonna just gonna say this right quick. Now, if the hood was economically sustainable and you had good schools and people was buying back the block like they say and refurbishing and making everything good, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind living in the hood. You know what I'm saying? But it's got to be people that's like-minded, that's trying to – I don't give a damn if you got it as long as you trying, you know what I'm saying, to do better for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's all it's about. Well, we, we have a complex of the white syndrome. Dang. Because if you're going to go back in history, who had it all? The white folks. What was our goal? Go prove, back in what history? Just in American history. They, Yo, go back. To, you ain't got to go nowhere. Else. Okay, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm using this as an example. Okay, they had it all, and our goal was as black folks, we either got to be just like them or better than them. No, like, like my daddy said, I think we've just been chasing our 100 acres in the moon because that they promised us and we ain't got the shit. Well, yet. I mean, now, truth be told, we 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 are chasing that. That's why we, we still ask for reparations. In the mood, really. But I mean, the thing is though, when you start th- when you start thinking about it, the reason that we get out of the inner city is because why? Is it one is us, two it's the crime rate is, is 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 extremely high. Like you said, we got a bunch of people, so a bunch of shit go on. We got us right. that jealous of us. One person go down and get something. Oh man, fuck that nigga. That nigga ain't doing shit. But then now what you want to do? No, I want to get my kids to a better neighborhood, a better school, a better this, a better that. So you want to be better. So then you move out to the suburbs. So then you move out to the suburbs. Next thing you know, you you out there. A couple more people, couple more black folk come out there. What we got? White flight. They go. Start another suburb. They price they suburb up here. You get enough money. Now them motherfuckers think I can't come over there and stay. Guess what? I'm on your ass. I'm on your ass because I got enough money to come over there too. That's not the reason though. But no, I'm, what I'm saying, I'm using, I'm using this as I to bring, it, to bring by where I'm coming you. in at with. We have this mentality of white is better, black is not, because it has been inbred, ingrained within our psyche that white is better. I don't, I don't think, think about that. it. Even just like even when you want to bring up your 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 Bible and your religion, angelic, everything that's angelic, heavenly is what white. Everything that is dark, evil. Black. I don't think like that. And yeah, because and, uh, then, uh, and, then, and then and then I'm not saying you think like no, that. No, I'm no, saying no, no, you got no, a majority no, no, no. of people that the, think the, like and that. And the reason why I say that is because you can go in in several areas right here in in the Jackson metropolitan area and you got black people that are that has beautiful neighborhoods. I ain't saying that you Beautiful homes. I ain't saying that you know. You know what I'm saying? And you can go in the same Jackson metropolitan area, and you can see uh, white trailer parks. 
You know what I'm saying? White slums and black slums. So it's, it, it, it doesn't matter. It's just the, I think it's the mindset of the people of wherever you're at. And then if you don't give a person an opportunity, and if you are over-policing that community, if you start to bring that community down, you know what I'm saying? By over policing, and that's not that don't that don't bring your community down. Yes, it does. Over policing is going to bring because if you over police the white community the same way you over police the black community, you're gonna get the same, uh, if not more, crime. If you start going over here in this prominent black neighborhood targeting black people, yeah, you may get a motherfucker with a DUI. The man may lose his job. He lose his house. He I, do I all you. this. You know what I, I'm saying? I get you on that. So this. if you policing them the same way. But that's not what brings our community down, though. What brings our community down is our own self. When we don't take care of our own shit. We sitting here, we talking about it now. We talking about we want to be equal. We want to be, get our just due. But if we got our just due, we don't even take care of our own just due. Let me, let me tell you, let me just... I disagree. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me give y'all a look. I disagree because I, you lumping everybody in the same category, and I just told we just you speak. We speaking. That's of, just that's not the case. We you, not speaking. You absolutes. falling into the category of the way they view us, nigga. You just I said you would take their Bible. I don't view us like that. I view us as a people that are on the rise. I view us very optimistically. I always give us the benefit of the doubt. I ain't saying that I'm so not let me, giving let me, it. Let me, let me let me break it down because I get what you're saying and I get what you're saying. You saying, and this is just what I think. You saying that you know, this, if you like, I do agree with what you said about the over policing. If you do them like you're doing us, it's gonna be the same shit. Yeah. And on your end, and kinda, if you if, if you hold them. To the same accountability. It held them to the same standard with the same punishments, with the same everything. It's going to be all the same shit. And on you, I kind of feel where you're coming from too, but I want to kind of like shed some light on what you said because what you said is kind of part of the problem. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like what you said. Like, and I don't want to... I don't want to make you right because you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, you good. Just, you feel? I don't want to make you right because you, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like what I'm finna say. It's kind of like, man, I want to be like the white people, but it's not like that. It's just man, make it fair because you just said, man, you got black people, this, this, and that, and if you give them an opportunity, you see what I'm saying? Why we, why we stay waiting on somebody to give us an opportunity? Because I'm a, I don't want to make you right. White people ain't waiting on nobody getting no opportunity, fam. They, you they know took what I'm it. Saying? They, you feel me? Thirteen colonies, Great Britain. Donald Trump got forty years free taxes, bro, and he took that shit. He went like he went against the government. I'm not praising him, and then I'm just giving you an example. But you of, know what? Also, mother, no, hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. But do you know what? Time also, time Donald Trump had. He went broke. Donald Trump, no. Donald do you know? Trump do you, do no. You know do you know what you know also much, Donald Trump had? Big. Donald Trump had a rich father that he could keep getting millions and millions of dollars from. That's not true, you bro. talking about that's coming. Not true, bro. He did. He did. That's, that's his father did. No, 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 that, no. That's not true because once Donald Trump, Donald Trump took over Trump Enterprise. His father was too old and took the back seat to Donald Trump. Donald, Donald Trump was the face when he was balling. Man, do you know? Like, bro, hold on. Do you know how, like, nigga, we get, what, $500 in debt and we going crazy? Mm -hmm. This nigga was millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars in debt. Millions, what? bro. Damn near billion dollars in debt. I got, I got, I got this to add to that. He now, didn't, goddamn, he. he you, you're right. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're right. You know what I'm saying? And Tiz, you're right. Donald Trump, people like Donald Trump. They had a head start. They had people that could come in and basically, hey, look, if I if I do something wrong, you got my back. You can help save me. We didn't have that. So, like you say, we get $500 in debt. We going crazy. Going crazy. Okay, watch this. Now, a lot of people going to say, well, you're being hypocritical when you say this. But at some point, we got to start that foundation for our kids. If I'm out there and I'm busting my ass to make sure that my kids are not just better than me, not have better things than what I had, but setting them up for the future and teaching them how to maneuver and make the uh, and make the money work for them. 
then guess what? Now they got money to pass down to their kids. That's so true because people that I, you know what I'm saying, it's just, I ain't trying to bash nobody. I swear to God, I'm trying to, we just shooting ideas off each other. You know what I'm saying? I see my people just buying their kids, just spending thousand dollars on a motherfucking two-year-old. Just throwing it away instead of taking them thousands, saving this shit, and then when your child 18, you could at least get him a head start. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Not even a, he ain't got to go get no student loans or get and get get in debt. He ain't got to, he or she don't have to go beg nobody for a loan to start their own business and damn it get in debt. They can, God damn it, get a simple head start. If you just simply just stop just simple, just stop by all these goddamn drawers. And it, it man, listen, it motherfucker would complain about drawers when I was in school. Right. Now you buying kids, motherfucker buying Gucci, but listen, y'all gonna for these little ass kids, bro. Right. These little ass kids. You got kids walking around with three hundred and fifty dollar fucking shoes on. Thousand dollar shoes yeah. on. You feel me? Little yeah, we, ass. Do, we have our priorities really skewed. And and that's and that's the difference. And, and that's the and difference then, because and then what you'll say we'll like you say, we'll sit and complain, you know what I'm saying, that we don't have it. When we had it the whole time, we just miss we misappropriated funds. Yeah, exactly, the we got we got to have a different and we mindset. We put them in the right place. We got to have a different mindset because you know what I'm saying. Mm. Of course, you know what I'm saying. I know Donald Trump dad was balling, but he but what did he, what did Donald Trump do? So I mean, the first chance he got, he but, took but, over but the business, bro. Like mm. like you said, fuck Donald Trump. Fuck him. <laughs> because because this 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 is the thing. But at least learn we something already from know we already we are yeah we already know they they had the head start. They had the 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 the, but, but the, the got, money he, he to got, he to had a head start, it. but he fucked it up. He, he he fucked it completely up. But he, he used he the loopholes in the system. He started doing shit. He but guess what? Not, see, but no, see, no, no, no. But guess what? But see, watch but this. Guess what? You don't want to why? But see, watch because this. He watch. knew how but to see, do but see, it. But see, no, it ain't it, it ain't that he knew how to do it. He had buddies that in the banks that's gonna keep financing him. No, no, no. Don't folks. This is what I'm telling you. Know you. Donald no, Donald Trump filed bankruptcy. No, no, no. Time out. He'll just open up a new corporation. This is why I want you to educate. They get more finance. No, no. This is why I want you to educate yourself. Just, uh, uh, just, go, just go educate yourself. This nigga, these folks wanted they motherfucking money, man. This man owe me a million dollars. I want my shit. If I owe you two hundred dollars, you gonna damn near bust my head for it. Let me owe you a million. You ain't gonna want it. Come on, man. You fuck want they motherfucking money, man. Once again, this is big business. Big exactly. And business. I need my bread. Big business. In order for my business to keep he gonna going. I'm going to tell you, okay, I owe you a million, right? I got this new development that's coming. And that bar, I'm going to be able to pay you your million. And then we're going to be able to pay you more. Mm-hmm. I got it over here. Mm-hmm. He got, do you think he opened up? All those properties just under one uh, 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 business. Do you think he fucked up one property? This man, he, op- he, just fucked, up. This he man, fucked up numerous times. That's what bro. I'm telling you. He, but he opening it up under different entities. You know why? Because he filed bankruptcy um, numerous amounts of times. He gonna file bankruptcy under his business. So it has nothing to do with him personally. My business can fuck up, but then I can go open up another business. And say, look, I won't finance it for this business. My sentiments exactly. So you know the game. If you know the game, play the game. We're not playing che- checkers, nigga. We playing chess. Whenever, so you gotta think five to six moves ahead. Fuck playing the game, win that bitch. How do you win? How do you win? Whenever, game, whenever I get a black a black banker, cause there ain't no white folk finna give me no money like oh, that. Oh my god! But whenever oh, god I get go black, you get it. Whenever oh, my I mama get, they will. They gonna give you a money. They gonna give you money to buy you a car. They gonna give you a money to buy you a house. They not finna give you no money to finance your own economic freedom. First thing first. They are not Watch going this. to do it. If you're not smart enough to be able to they'll utilize what they're doing. They'll give you $50,000. they will give you $20,000. Wait, wait, wait. They ain't finna give you no millions of dollars wait. so you can bring your own people out of. It I starts mean, with one. It start, no, 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 no. Time out. Time out. Hold on, hold on. But time out. This is what I'm saying, bro. If we come together, like, if we 50000 50000 50000 we all straight. If we got them, if I go blow my 50 on bullshit, Get what I'm doing. Looking at y'all. Hey. What 
What y'all got for me? Uh, I've said this. I've hip- said but, this. No, 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 I've said this on the hip- numbers of it it's, it's, not, it's not helping the situation. How's that helping the situation? I'm fucking my shit off. And you know what I'm saying? Now I got to look back at y'all for some help. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, are y'all going to give me some money? We, if, you, if you know we all got 50000 at the same time, and next day I'm broke. I'm like, bro, I, I blow my 50. Hey, bro, let me get about like 5000 real quick. I got to help you out. But you ain't going to give it to me. On me you I mean, I, no, I you mean, you're saying that because that's the right thing to say in front of the camera. But no, being, being help, real, you ain't going to do that. No, you, you, know, you know what the average nigga going to say? Gonna nigga, you just had 50000 What the fuck you do with it? I ain't got a chance to do nothing with my 50 yet. Yeah, I ain't even cashed that bitch yet. God damn, you already asking me for some cheese. God damn, come about oh, Time out, time out. We do our people like that when you ain't get 50. Yeah. I got 50, you ain't get shit. Right. Motherfucker don't even want to help you out. No, nah, what they say? Nigga, man, I got I, it. Man, hold on. God damn, let me at least, let me, let me do some first uh, shit. Hey, I, I let need me to do be, some first with my 50. Or the age old saying, I got it. Nigga, figure but out how I got it. But think about it, though. In, in, in a sense, it's not really, I'm not saying I'm that's not, a bad thing. I'm not, I'm not saying that's a bad one, thing though. because they just, I probably do the same shit. You blow your 50 mm-hmm. too, I'm going to just be like, listen, bro. I'll give you about, I'll give you a couple, I'll give you 500. I ain't gonna give you no five thousand. I'm like this because I got fifty thousand. I'm gonna give you enough to go get you something to eat and go back to the I'm, crib. I'm starting this right here. I'm finna start this building right here. I'm gonna give you a job. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause I already know you just blew fifty. Ain't no need to put no more money in your pocket. Not like that. Cause you finna go blow that too. So nigga, I'm gonna give you a job. Let you work a little bit so you can understand the value of the fifty that you just blew. Damn boy. So now you wanna. So now you wanna. Now you want to really make me feel bad. <laughs> no. Because if you if you working with 50, you know what I'm saying? Now you now I'm working for you. Come on, man. You, you had your 50, though, nigga. Come on, man. <laughs> God damn. Gotta, you, what you more gotta, do you, you want? Look at it's it, about classism, dude, man. because think about it. The, the Trump Towers. My mama, there's no black people working there, bitch. They get themselves jobs. Get what? We don't but get ourselves time, shit. time I get what, though? You think Donald Trump gave a fuck about the housekeepers and that bitch? Nope. Man, Didn't God. even know their name. God damn, bro. They ain't about those. Them motherfuckers was in, out, in, man, out, in, out, out, in, out. As long, long as he had them to clean something. Man, they can just, they can just look at him wrong. Well, they, Fire. Uh, only thing I'm gonna say Nigga is, had a whole show where he, he was famous this, Hold on, time out, time out, time out. He hired the whole, he hired a whole construction company to build his monumental skyscraper and then pay the ass a fucking Damn. Didn't pay that, uh, shit, this nigga man. just fired the U.S. attorney that was investigating his buddies. He don't give a fuck, dude. And and and, and, you, and, you and but this what, what I, but this what I'm saying. No, I'm, I'm I'm saying that to say this. I'm not praising Donald Trump. I'm telling you the level or the mentality that we gonna have to get if we want to beat this. If we want to beat these motherfuckers, there you go. We can't give a fuck, bro. We can't have no. We can't have no heart. We can't have no. Um, we gotta have morals, but we can't have no. We can't, we can't be, be out of motherfuckers. We can't feel sorry for okay. you motherfuckers, bro. It's all right. You we know, I on, understand. You can't spit on them black like, man. If I, if I go out there and spit on a motherfucker white person right now, you can't come behind me and be like, man, you should have never did that. You better spit on his ass, too. Because you can't feel sorry for that. Because get what? They're not going to feel sorry for you, too. They're not going to feel sorry for us. And that's what we keep expecting. We keep expecting. This is what we keep doing. Showing them what they're doing wrong. Look at what you're doing wrong. Feel sorry for us, please. Feel sorry for us and God give damn. us some shit. Here, God look, damn. look, 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 look. Look at what you're doing to us. Look at what you did there for 400 years. Please feel sorry for us. That shit got to stop, man. That's they reason. not going to feel sorry for us, dude. That's the reason I brought They're not going to do it, dude. They don't give a fuck, so why do we have to keep giving a fuck when they don't? We, we, listen, we're trying to either beat them or get on their level. We're not going to do it being nice, bro. We're not going to do it by asking them for shit either. We're going to have to do it by doing it ourselves. We're going to have to. I ain't finna sit this motherfucker and just keep well, saying that, uh, oh, uh, I got I gotta wait on this motherfucker to do I'm, this for all, me. All I'm gonna say is this. Just like I was gonna bring up earlier. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. All wait a minute, I was gonna bring this up earlier. No, 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 let me have it back. Let me have it back. One second. No, 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 no. Alright. It's just like I was saying. No, 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 no. I'm the king of this podcast. All I'm gonna say is this. All I'm gonna say is this. You keep talking with no action ain't worth shit to me. I don't know. I don't brought shit to the table. We ain't talking I done, about personally. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't brought shit to the table with groups of men, with groups of black we men. We not talking personally. To try to do shit. You ain't had no business plan. Oh, you just said come together and save some money. If you want to take it down. Shoot you down. Nigga, shoot you down. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, shoot you down. You can't fucking agree. 
You know what I'm saying? So what you going to do? Now you go out on your own. And then you still have niggas hate on you. You know what I'm saying? So either we gonna either you going to say we're going to come together or, God damn it, everybody going to be apart. He got a point. All right. I and agree then with when somebody he, come he together, then y'all don't want to, you don't even want to trust the person that's trying to come together with you. Now, this is what's crazy. This is what's crazy. He got a point, though. I, 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 I'm, fin I'm, fin I'm, fin I'm finna touch on that point, too, because it's like this. When you say that niggas don't want to come together when you say somebody got something to, something going, just because a nigga asks you some questions about some shit that you got going don't mean that he don't trust you. He trying to figure out what the fuck is going on so he'll know what he's getting into. That's the that's the that's the thing. See, niggas want us to trust each other just off of GP. Just because we cool, we homeboy, I should trust you like that. But at the end of the day, you managing finances. That's how they do it, bro. No, they don't. No, they don't. I swear they don't. Ain't because if you said, go, oh, ain't, wait, nobody, ain't nobody gave you no. Ain't nobody say don't ask questions. No, no, they ain't how they do it. it, it but be, it at the it, same it, time, it's up your so, name. Your name is what, same it, time, what it is, bro. He should have got. He should have got. You know what I'm saying? Ted's name ain't been on no fuck shit. If a white a white person could be out there at the bar right now and they could just meet each other, get what they could do business together next day, nigga. They don't even know each other, but your name good. You see what I'm saying? I done call him up, hey, you know, so-and-so. Research. No, no, Questions. No, no, Ask it me. But, but no, it ain't without being official to the person you're trying to do business with. If somebody come to you with a business plan, them folks going to be like, they, they might they might even, man, matter of fact, I'm, I, I just use it as an example, as the extreme that would go. They might not even do that. What I'm saying, they might just be like, bro, listen, you 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 you, you do what? You do this, that? Man, yeah, let's do it. We so lyric. Man, that, we that so, that, I done, we, I done, we, I done we, seen it done at that bar. Plenty of time. We so leery. We so, we so leery about each other, and and this little damn currency that they give us, they want to hold on to it. But yet that we can't never it. take a damn chance on each other. But yeah, you still that's asking why for the we can't. That's we why we can't we never. <laughs> we earned it. We earned. It. But see, this is my. This is what's so crazy. I'm trying to take. I ain't trying to ask for. Now I'm, my. I'm trying to take what's belong uh, to me. Okay. Now this is my thing. When it come to business, if you're going to do business with each other, it's one thing to talk about it. Like you just said a while ago, nigga, words without actions don't mean shit to you. So words don't words without actions don't mean shit to a lot of people. So if a motherfucker, you trying to do business with them, guess what you, hey, put it on paper. Show me your business plan. No, it, 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 and I'm going to break it down to, to another thing that I've been saying. We are scared because we're so scared of taking a loss. You, I don't know, no businessman, white, black. Mexican, Indian, they ain't never took no loss, fam. Everybody take loss. You know what I'm saying? If, but you, everybody you, can't take a loss. It, yes, you can, bro. You're going to get back up, bro. Like everybody, I, I everybody. I told you Donald Trump was in billions of dollars of debt, bro. Nah, that's piggybacking off of Tez. Because, like, what Tez was don't saying. Don't make no excuse. I'm just saying. No, it's no facts. excuse. Billion dollar debt, motherfucker, he back up. You can get back. Listen, bro. You ain't no. You, you can, if you can't take no loss, bro. Like he just said, this shit don't even. Look, give me that. Give me that, Give me that little piece of paper right there. It's all money here, bro. This shit right here, man. Come on, brother. True. Man, you can't stand to lose that. True. You can't stand to lose that shit, man. They're going to make it tomorrow tomorrow. Get out there and get it. True. Get out there and get it. How you talking about you can't afford to take Yes, you can, bro. Take a loss, but you ain't going to never get nowhere scared, bro. Yeah, I ain't saying you, you know nothing. I, I, I ain't, I ain't I'm talking about us yeah. as black people. We so fucking scared. That's the reason why when somebody come to you with a business plan. Uh, man, I don't know about that, man. Because you fucking scared shitless, man. That's a try. Fuck it. If, if it's a, if we take an air, at least we can say we try to do something positive. We try to do something right. If we if we if we make a mistake and we fuck up, okay, well we might need to try it again and learn from it. But you ain't gonna never learn from it if you don't even never stick your feet out there. True, everybody you ain't gonna not, never learn how to swim. If you don't never get in the water. Dude. True, but everybody not in a position to people, take that chance. I, I, I hear people all the time, and you hear a lot of business opportunities and things that come, people slip on. That, well, people well, scared well, of. well, well, people people will come with, with with shit that's going on. You know what I'm saying? And it may be a chance. But I'm just like, a lot of times, I'm willing to take that chance. And the first thing somebody holler out their mouth, oh, that's a pyramid scheme. That's a pyramid scheme. Your whole livelihood is a pyramid scheme. Your whole livelihood is a pyramid scheme. You all working for somebody at the bottom, and somebody at the top is making all the goddamn profit and the goddamn money. Walmart. Got motherfucker working it for them for whatever the motherfucker minimum wage is, eight or nine, ten dollars an hour. Then it goes up. 
the next motherfucker's making a little bit more, then the next motherfucker making a little bit more, but these motherfuckers at the top making billions. And if it's all a damn pyramid scheme. No. <laughs> Man, you said yeah, motherfucker then, Andy. NFL. Yeah, you said yeah. motherfucker then. No, it, it, it ain't just all these corporations. It, it, it's, it's, all it, these corporations. NCAA, all that. All these corporations. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I, I want to do this because, shit, we, we get we near it. No, this education, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get yeah. about five more minutes, man. About five more minutes. Can we get five more minutes, Sip City? Can we get five more minutes? Because my boy's speaking in real life. I education. mean, I, I I get him on that education. shit. And we can, run, we can run a few more minutes. Little five more you know minutes, what I'm man. Speak your shit to you. Like, we, we, like, we got to change our mindset. From being so fucking scary, because think about it, like you said, we come from a we come from a day and time where it, you know what I'm saying. Maybe you had to live in fear just to survive. You know what I'm saying, just to make it to the next day, you had to maybe step a certain way just so you won't. You know what I'm saying, get but not today, bro. Right now is the time for us as black people to go and drop our nuts, bro. And like, the thing about stop it, stop being is, so scared. That's even with social injustice. If a if you if a motherfucker is not giving you just do, take your motherfucking justice, bro. If a motherfucker you. punch you when you look at that motherfucker to discipline them, you discipline them yourself. Punch that ass back. You see what I'm saying? If you want to goddamn it come out of economic struggle, take that shit. Stop being scared. Drop your nuts one time. Listen, if you fall, guess what? You in the same shit you've been in. You ain't drop down no goddamn where. And you're going to be right back in the same spot you've been in. Get what? You got another day to try it again. You and what, what and whatever idea you got, whether it's a, it's a, has to do with Black Lives Matter or whatever, whatever idea you got to, to, to make a difference, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the, I'm not the one that's going to be like, oh, that shit ain't going to work and shut you down. Or talk negative on you. I don't be like, well, hell, it's worth a goddamn try. We had That's our all time. I know. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stand behind you. Whether it's monetarily or whether it's motherfucker putting my feet on the ground, giving some time to the effort, or if I got to help you, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Do whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I'm saying is support comes in different ways. Ain't got to always necessarily got to be about money. You know what I'm saying? If you motherfucking goddamn want to flip houses and you go buy the house and then you need some motherfucker uh, help with flipping the house, I'm going to come over there and lay some tile. I'm going to come over there and motherfucker lay some brick. I'm going to come over there and do whatever I need to do to help you get to where you need to get to. And it ain't got to be about money. We need to help each other. You know what I'm saying? Get to where we trying to get to. Hell, that's all I'm saying. If you washing cars, I'm... I'm going to ride through and support you. Yeah, I'm going to get my car washed, but I ain't going to get out there and help you wash no car. I may help you wash a car, too, just on the, on, the, on the motherfucker GP, you know what I'm saying? Because I've done it before. I've done it. You know what I'm saying? I've done it. I, I'm, I'm about helping. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't just talk about it. I got to be about it. Well, yeah, it was, you stay in fast. It's your turn, brother. Well. Educate us, brother. I will say this. And say something that everybody can take something from. Go I'm finna, finna say something. And everybody made some great points. Damn it. Everybody made some great points. We do need to learn to help each other. We do need to learn to stop being so leery of each other. But also, at the same time, we do have to learn that just because one person says something doesn't necessarily make it to where it's irrefutable. Sometimes... We may question. We may question anything that goes on. That's our that's that's our civil duty to question. It's the same thing that we going out here now when we talk about the police talking about stopping us and doing this and that. Why did you stop us? We asked the question, but because they don't want us asking the question, they killing. They 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 mean they maiming. They beating. They doing this. I'm saying we don't question them though. We don't question the motherfucker like why the fuck I got work eighty motherfucker hours. A goddamn week just to pay my goddamn bill. Go to your job and ask the white man that. Just go to your job and ask your boss. Boss, why the fuck am I working so many goddamn hours just to make, goddamn it, uh, $12, $13 a goddamn hour? You ain't got to ask me that because you already know why you're doing it. Why I'm doing it? Because you got to take care of what you want to take why, care okay, of. Okay, why, why, why I can't just work, uh, why I can't get the same check I'm getting and just work 20 hours? That's not the job. Oh, why? Why? Question them motherfuckers. Give them a million goddamn questions. You can. 
Do that. that you can. You can question. Do I'm saying we don't do them like that. We do each other like that. That's all I'm saying. Well, I'm saying we do we each other like that. that. We got to change. We that. do each other like that. Truth be told, but at the same time, like I say, when somebody come to you with an idea, and they and they may question you and say, okay, well, what's the business plan? What's the logistics? What's this? What's that? Then if you got it, if you got it on paper to show, then you ain't got to worry I mean, about I, it being I questioned. I use that example. I'm just saying, like, uh, okay, if I come to a motherfucker with an idea. Man, my idea, boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Motherfucker ain't gonna pay me no attention. Motherfucker gonna ask me a thousand goddamn questions. But if a white man come to him with the same motherfucking idea, get what they gonna do? Come and tell me the idea, black like, white boy put me on this. Oh no. Oh, uh, a white man. That was the white man told me. White man put me. Oh, on yeah. I got different white boy, man. White man put me. Because we value saying? them more than we value ourselves. That's what he was saying. Yeah, That's I what get he was that. Saying. We gotta stop with that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If somebody got an idea, somebody trying to do something, let's do it. Stop being scared. Oh, when the white man give us clearance to do that, now we want to do it. Oh, the white man said this what to do, so I'm going to do it. Nigga, I told you that last week we could have been there, this shit. You know what I'm saying? Now you ain't scared because the white man said, nah, this, you nah, know what I'm nah, saying? White nah. man said, this how you flip houses. Now you want to flip houses. Nah, now, it's, now it's been a legitimized. Look, it's, you see what I'm saying? This, this, this one, this one. That's the kind of point I was trying to make. I ain't you don't, you don't give, you don't give, you, your, you don't, we don't give each other enough credit because I think a lot of the same ideas and, think and about a lot it, of the same really stuff all that the they best do. ideas were taken from us though. Exactly. All the best ideas came from where? And then who who is more That's likely? Crazy, who, is, who is more likely to come up with the best ideas? Is it somebody that's uh, somebody, already somebody that used or, to making nothing, some out of nothing, or somebody that just like, somebody they, used to making some out of nothing. nothing? That's why we got most of uh, I ain't gonna say more, uh, thinking a skills, a lot of inventions. We was the ones that was out there working. We knew how to adjust. We 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 came up with uh, a lot of patents that, and it was taken from us. I swear, we came up with the best ideas. So you how we don't even trust that. We don't even trust our damn self. We the one that came up. Look, look at how America works. Look, look at how the, look at the interstates. Look at the drill roads. Look at um everything that's going on. That came from a black mind, bro. All this shit came from a black mind. You don't even want to value your own brain. That's crazy. We gotta come out of it. We've been fucked and up. I think, and and that and that has to do with a lot of our economic situation. That has to do with what's been ingrained within our brain from the moment that we were born. I'm speaking of us three. Because it was ingrained in our brain that it was a white man's world. No, the white hell, man, it wasn't ingrained in my brain. I, it's the white man's world. My mom and them didn't teach me that. My mom and them ain't teach me that shit. I'm just telling you from my experience. That yours might have, but mine didn't teach me that. My folks was very... My folks was on the front lines of the civil rights movement. They uh, taught us to get it for ourselves. My father built our own house he was econ he didn't get in debt with white people he he had his own business and he worked on the job that was up bro that was up bro oh yeah i'm, I'm not refuting that's, that that's goddamn that's goddamn I think about it in the time that in the time i think like i said i think you know what i'm saying i don't i got i got like i said i gotta look myself in the mirror i don't go as hard as i think i should think this, based on what you said your daddy did, bro. Like this, 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 that's going to get it, bro. At a time, especially back in that time, bro. Like, I know it was t hard, bro. I know on some days he just wanted to say, man, fuck this shit. Cause like I said, I come from this. My granddaddy had his own business, and he passed it down to my uncle and shit like that. But I look at the shit he had to go through. Like he went through that shit with, but you know what I'm saying finances and shit and I don't think I don't, and I learned from the mistakes he made he didn't do everything right you know so I'm not saying you know what I'm saying the people they did everything right I still learned from their mistakes but is it the fact that they had the balls though to just drop their shit what? you know what I'm saying like man fuck it I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do it step out you know what I'm saying just step out and do it and that's the you know so we got it. And, and that's the same thing we were talking about earlier when you start laying a foundation down for your kids to make sure that they got something when you do perish or you leave from here that's what we nowadays, as a younger generation, do not have the mind state for. But we we still gotta instill something in their brain, cause just cause you left some form, like you still gotta you know teach them how to manage. You gotta teach them how to maneuver. You still gotta make sure they know, you know, what I'm saying how to keep it or how to build. 
how to build more, how to keep it going. Like, okay, this is what I did for you. Now take what I gave you and multiply it and leave this for your son. And on down, on down, on down. That's, that's why I say we need to institute back in the trades of the logistics of business, money management, uh, you know what I'm saying, credit management. Cause all that shit still is prevalent to this day. Wasn't and, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I ain't gonna, like I, I like I, I'm, I love my black people, and I'm gonna give us credit. Like I'm starting to see so many black people like get into so many avenues of money. You see what I'm saying? I got, I know a dude right now, black dude. He, you know what I'm saying? He trying his best to get seven streams of income. You know that's when you get seven streams of income, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He and it, it ain't easy, but I'm seeing them do it. But I'm not speaking on people that like that. I'm speaking on my people that I know, like I can touch. No. You feel me? Like Mississippi Jackson. You see what I'm saying? That's that's really who I'm really speaking to because we so far behind. We need to, we 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 trying to catch up. We got a lot of catching you know, up. We got a lot of catching well, up. I mean, we getting there. We, we I getting swear, there. That's what I'm saying. I'm and a I'm lot always of, speaking positive. Always. For sure. For well, sure. I'm gonna say it like this right here. We finna wrap this motherfucker, man, because we 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 don't push way over time. We do got some catching up to do, but I'm at the same time we got some starting to do too. Ted, give us something short and sweet. Short and sweet. Let's just uh, <clears throat> keep pushing for the eradication of this flag. Uh, I really don't think that represents the whole other people and the attitudes of the people of this day. Let's keep our uh, pulse to the movement that's going on right now let's do, let's do not let up and let's build each other up you know what i'm saying that's the, that that's the main thing let's quit shooting each other down quit it's and i didn't mean that literally quit shooting each other down <laughs> in the streets too you know what i'm saying we need to come together as a people you know this time is right for us to make some things right All within right, ourselves what you got? And within our community. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> Man, I just, you know, uh, shit, I think I said all I need to say. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of Sip City Podcast. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Hit the like, subscribe, share button, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We out. We're going to fuck with y'all next week. Ben One, T-E-Z, uh, Mr. F-O-E, D-White. We out this bit.